welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we're doing Urban Legends from Washington. The first urban legend is 13 Steps to Hell. Mulby Cemetery became a popular place for teens and curious adults to visit years ago. There were 13 steps starting at ground level, descending into the ground, leading to the back entrance of the tomb of a wealthy family. Supposedly, teens would dare each other to go down the stairs, touch the door to the tomb, and come back. But when the unlucky person turned around after completing the dare, he or she would get a terrifying glimpse into hell. Some people were so traumatized, they were left unable to speak. The steps have been covered up, and no trespassing signs cover the cemetery to discourage people from trying to find them. The next urban legend is Glowing Eyes. Mariner High School in Everett has its own urban legend. Many of the lights are left on all night, but around midnight, on some nights, they shut off. If you're close enough, you might see eyes staring back at you from inside the school. All you can see are a pair of subtle glowing eyes. Some sources claim that if you stare at the eyes long enough, you can make out a figure of a winged man. The next urban legend is Mel's Hole. Legend has it, but there's a bottomless pit near Mansash Ridge in Ellensburg. It is called Mel's Hole because a man who called himself Mel Waters was the first person to report its existence. There are a lot of strange stories involving the pit. Supposedly, a man threw his dead dog in it only to see the dog go trottering by, very much alive, a few hours later. No credible evidence of Mel's Hole exists but it hasn't ever been disproven either. The next urban legend is Dryden Hall. Eastern Washington University's Dryden Hall opened in 1965, and since then, people have reported seeing a mysterious screaming face on the outer wall of the North Wing. At first, groundkeepers assumed it was a trick of the building's exterior lights. But no matter how many times the position of the lights are changed, the face still appeared. The next urban legend is UFO. On June 24, 1947, a pilot named Kenneth Arnold saw some shiny objects over the top of the Cascades near Mount Rainer. This UFO story stood out because Kenneth Arnold was such a credible witness and the story was so detailed. It all happened just two weeks before the U.S. Army issued and then later retract a report of a crash saucer in Roswell. The next urban legend is the Faceless Roamer. The city of Auburn was originally called Slaughter. A wealthy man who made his home there once sold some property to help contribute to the city's growth. Rumor has it that his ghost, which is faceless for some reason, can be seen angrily walking up and down a street downtown, passing through walls. The last urban legend is the Indian Princess. Every now and then, people will see an old Native American woman at Pike Place Market who sits with woven baskets on a blanket for sale. But when they get closer, the woman is gone. That woman is the ghost of Princess Angeline. Kiki Swabalu was her real name, the daughter of Chief Seattle himself. She once lived in a cabin between Pike and Pine Street, and apparently, she stayed close to home. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like. If you're not yet subscribed, please subscribe and turn the bell notification on so you know when I post. And let me know which story was the creepiest, creepiest, scariest, or if you'll ever visit these places. Let me know down below. Bye bye for now.